beef stroganoff. This is a classic Russian recipe that will surely satisfy your palate. Let's go ahead and prepare our ingredients. In a mixing bowl, prepare any prime cut of beef of your choice. And right here, I'm using one and a half pound of rib ice tape, and I'm going to season that with garlic salt, pepper, and lots of paprika. Just make sure to season it well and incorporate evenly. We're going to set them aside while we cook our vegetables. In a hot pan, put the extra virgin olive oil and two tablespoons of salted butter. Time for us to add and saute our onions. Next up, we're going to add and saute our button mushrooms. with garlic salt and dill. After that, we are now going to set aside our vegetables. And in the same pan where we cook our vegetables, we are now going to add some extra virgin olive oil and pan sear our meat. Since I'm using ribeye, I'm only going to sear each side for two minutes. Traditionally, this recipe requires brandy, but since I can flambe in my induction stove, I'm using Worcestershire sauce as a substitute. We need to make sure that our meat has rendered its fat before we add the Worcestershire sauce. Now it's time for us to add back the vegetables and mix it. Next up, we are going to add our heavy whipping cream. As you can see, the oil in the pop-up color of orange from the paprika shows, and that's what we want to achieve. We are going to stir and let it simmer for one minute. After a minute, we are now going to add our sour cream. And at this point, we are now going to turn off our heat and incorporate our sour cream. And finally, we are going to sprinkle a handful of fresh parsley for our finishing touch. Our beef stroganoff is done and it's time for plating. Right here, I prepared a cup of rice and I'm just basically going to put the beef stroganoff on the side. And while I was cooking the beef stroganoff earlier, I fried some matchsticks potatoes to go on the side. And here we're just going to sprinkle it with more parsley. 
And there you have it, our beef stroganoff.